In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems based on differentiable vector functions. And now we are moving towards some three to four problems based on those theorems. So let us see the first problem. So if R bar is equal to A bar cos alpha 2 plus B bar sin alpha t, where alpha is a real number and A bar and B bar are constant vectors, then I have to show that R bar cross dr bar will come out to be this and d2 r bar by dt square will be equal to minus alpha square r bar. So what we will do is, so given this r bar, we will first calculate what is dr bar by dt and we will also calculate what is d2 r bar by dt square. So alpha, so let's take r bar, so solution. So r bar is given to be a bar cos alpha t plus b bar sin alpha t. Let us now find the derivative. So dr bar by dt will be equal to minus a bar alpha sin alpha t plus b bar sin alpha t. Its derivative will be b bar alpha cos alpha t. So this is dr bar by dt. Let's calculate the double derivative here, here itself. So d2 r bar by dt square will be the double derivative minus a bar alpha into alpha will be alpha square sin derivative the derivative of sin is cos alpha t plus b bar alpha and cos alpha derivative is minus sin minus alpha times sin alpha so it will be minus alpha into alpha will become alpha square sin alpha t and you can clearly see that you can pull out an alpha square common with a minus sign so when I pull out minus alpha square common, what I'm getting is a bar cos alpha t plus b bar sine alpha t, right? And this is exactly our, uh, this is exactly our r bar, right? So this is nothing but what? This is minus alpha square r bar. So we have actually proved the second part very quickly. So d2 r bar by dt square is given by minus alpha square r bar. So 2 is solved. So the second part is solved. Now let us look at what is the solution of the first one. So this part we have done. Now let us calculate what is the cross product of r bar with dr bar by dt. So we have r bar ready here and we also have dr bar over here. right? So let us calculate their cross product. So when I write r bar cross dr bar by dt, so for the second part, I'm writing r bar cross dr bar by dt is equal to r bar is a bar cos alpha t plus b bar sin alpha t cross the derivative is minus alpha a bar sin alpha t plus b bar alpha cos alpha t, right? So this is a cross product, okay? And now what I will do when I do this cross product, I will take the first component over here and cross product with the, with the first component over here. So remember, don't change the order. We will write minus alpha a bar cross a bar sin alpha t cos alpha t don't change the order of the vectors okay so a bar cross a bar then i will multiply this a bar cos alpha t with b bar alpha cos alpha t so plus a bar cross b bar into cos alpha t into alpha cos alpha t then now I'm going to multiply this b bar sin alpha t with this person. So minus alpha b bar cross a bar. Remember, I have to write b bar first and then a bar multiplied by alpha, multiplied by sin alpha t into sin alpha t, which is sin square alpha t. And then I have to multiply this b bar 
cos alpha t and b bar cos alpha t. So it is b bar cross b bar sin alpha t into alpha cos alpha then alpha over here and into alpha cos alpha t. Okay. And then I clearly see that this a bar cross a bar, this will become vector zero. B bar and B bar will also become the zero vector. So I'm left with uh, what? So what am I left with? I'm left with uh, A cross B into alpha cos square alpha T cos into cos plus minus alpha is common B bar cross a bar into sine square alpha t correct and we know that b bar cross a bar can be replaced by what minus of a bar cross b bar so this will become alpha will come out common and what am i getting inside i'm getting a bar cross b bar cos square alpha t minus and this minus i'm converting into plus alpha is already taken outside so this b bar cross a bar i'm going to replace by a bar cross b bar because i've changed the sign into sine square alpha t and a bar cross b bar is also common so alpha a bar cross b bar into what am i getting cos square alpha t plus sine square alpha and we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is what is always one right so that will become that will go away so you will just get to so this quantity will become one. So you'll just get alpha into a bar cross b bar. This is what was expected. So we have proved that in the second part, we have proved that r bar cross dr bar by dt is equal to alpha times a bar cross b bar. Now let us see the second problem. I have to show that r bar, which is equal to a bar e power kt plus b bar e power lt satisfies this differential equation. I have to show that it satisfies this differential equation. What information do we have about uh, the constants is, is given that this k and l that are coming over here, they are the roots of a quadratic equation m square plus p m plus q. Okay, so k and l are roots of this quadratic equation. What do we know about p and q? The p and q here in this differential equation, they are constants. What do you know about a bar and b bar? a bar and b bar are coming in this r bar. Let us see in here. We are given that they are what? They are constant vectors. So let us now show that how this particular thing satisfies the differential equation given all this data. Okay. So it's very easy actually. So let's quickly write down. So first of all, I should know that I should write it here in the very first thing. Let's write the, the information of this line. So we know that K and L are roots of, they are the roots of M square plus PM plus Q equal to zero. So it means they will satisfy this equation. So they satisfy the quadratic equation. Okay. Means if I put instead of M, if I put K and if, if instead of M, if I put L, what am I going to get? This means that K square plus PK plus Q will be equal to zero. This I'm going to call equation one. And L also satisfies this equation means what? Means L square plus PL plus Q that is also equal to zero. So these two things are given to us. Okay, so we have used this data from our question. Okay, now we will turn, up, turn to this R bar and we will try to show that it satisfies this differential equation. So let us write R bar again. And what we will, so this R bar we are going to use here, we are going to find its derivative and we are going to find its double derivative. Okay. So what is R bar given to us? So R bar is equal to A bar e power kt plus B bar e power lt. So what is dr bar by dt? So if I differentiate this with respect to t, I'm going to get k a bar e power kt plus l b bar e power lt. Right. What is d2r bar by dt square? And d2r bar by dt square, I'm going to differentiate it again. 
So I'm going to get a k square a bar e power kt plus l square b bar e power lt, right? So these are the expressions of r bar, dr bar and d, d2 r bar by dt, right? So therefore, what is the LHS of the differential equation? So LHS of the differential equation was d2 r bar by dt square plus p dr bar by dt plus q r bar, okay? I will substitute d2 r bar by dt square from here. I will substitute dr bar by dt from here. And this r bar, I'm going to substitute this r bar, okay? And we are going to show that finally, this will become equal to what? This will become equal to zero. So what is dr bar, d2 r bar by dt? I'm getting k square a bar e power kt plus l square b bar e power lt plus p times dr bar by t. So this is dr bar by dt, okay? So I'm going to multiply it by p, right? So I'm going to get what? k p a bar e power kt plus k plus, sorry, I'm going to multiply it by p plus l p b bar e power lt plus now I'm going to multiply the r bar by q. So what is r bar? r bar is a e, e power kt, b bar e power lt. So I'm going to multiply this by what? Multi and multiply this by q. Okay. So you'll get q a bar e power kt plus q b bar e power lt. Right. So multiply the r bar by q. Right. And now let us collect all the people who are having a bar and let's collect all the people who are having b bar. So what are the people who are having a bar in this? So this is the first term. So all of all people who are having a bar also have e power kt common. If you see carefully, so they have e power kt common. So I can pull out a bar into e power kt common. And then what will I get inside? I'm getting k square plus plus q. And for b bar, what am I getting? I'm getting l square plus l p plus q. And common is e power lt is also common. So b bar into e power lt, right? But I know that k square plus kp plus q and l square plus lp plus q. If you go at equation one and two, you see k square plus kp plus q and p l square plus pl plus q, both are zero. So this will become... This is 0 by equation 1 and this is also 0 by equation 2. So this will become a bar into e power kt into 0 plus b bar into e power lt into 0. So you get what? You get a 0 vector because here a bar and b bar are vectors. When you multiply 0, you will get a 0 vector, right? So this is the way um, it means that d2 r bar by dt square plus p d r bar by dt plus qr is satisfied by this r bar. So it, this means that our problem is now solved, that we have shown that this satisfies this differential equation. Now let us see how to find the derivative of this scalar triple product r dr bar by dt and d2 r bar by dt squared. So if you remember in the previous lecture, we have solved or we have rather proved a theorem related to the scalar triple product of uh, u, v, and w, okay? So just recall that theorem from the previous video, okay? It was saying that keep u as it is, v as it is, find the derivative of w. So if you remember, this was what? This was scalar triple product of u, v dash, or le let me find the derivative of u, then v and w are kept as it is, plus, then here I'm going to keep u and w as it is, I'm going to find the derivative of v, and in the last part, I'm going to keep u and v as it is, and I'm going to find the w derivative of w. Okay, so this is the same theorem I'm going to use to solve this problem. So what is d by dt of r bar, dr bar by dt, and d2 r bar by dt square, which is equal to, so let's find the derivative of the first person. The derivative of first person is dr bar by dt. The other two I'm going to keep fixed means dr bar by dt and d2 r bar by dt square will be kept as it is. Plus, now in the second scale box, what am I going to do? In the second scalar triple, I'm going to find the derivative of this. 
and I'm going to keep the first and the last as it is. And I'm going to find the derivative of the second one is d2 r bar by dt square, right? And the last part, I'm going to find the derivative of this and keep the first and the second fixed. So I'm going to write r bar as it is, dr bar by dt as it is. And I'm going to write the derivative of uh, d2 r bar is d cube r bar by dt cube d3 r bar by dt okay now <clears throat> can we simplify this these scalar triple products now we know that if you have a scalar triple product and if suppose two of them are same the third one is something else if any two of them are same okay then in that case the scalar triple product value becomes what the value of the scalar triple product becomes always zero right so this means that this scalar triple product is going to become zero. This second and third are same. Therefore, this scalar triple product is also going to become zero. And the third one will remain as it is. So this means that this is our answer. Okay, so we have proved that the derivative of the given question, what was the question? R bar dr bar by dt and d2 r bar by dt square is nothing but what is nothing but r bar dr bar by dt and d3 r bar by dt so this completes this problem the last problem of this problem set is we are going to show that the derivative of u dv by dt minus du by dt v is equal to u d2 v by dt square and d2 u by dt square dot v okay so this is also pretty simple so let me start at the left hand side so i'm going to write d by dt of u bar dot tv bar by dt minus du bar by dt into v bar and i'm going to separate the derivative so which is equal to the derivative of this minus the derivative of this so that is u bar dot dv bar by dt and du bar by dt dot v bar correct in the previous sections we have in the previous lectures what we have proved is we have proved something like this the derivative of u bar dot v bar right product rule what is it it is u bar du dv bar by dt plus du bar by dt into v bar this is our usual product rule for dot product so two vectors so we are going to use this for every part here so what will i get for this one now let us write the product rule for this so u bar is as it is let us find the derivative of dv bar by dt which is d2 v bar by dt square plus i think this i am writing for the first term okay then what keep find the derivative of du bar of u bar which is du bar by dt and keep the other dv bar by dt as it is keep the second component as it is minus what about this one here also first keep du bar by dt as it is and find the derivative of the second component of v bar what is the derivative of v bar which is dv bar by dt plus now find the derivative of the first component so that will become d2 u bar by dt square dot and keep the second component as it is i'm using product rule for both the parts and then you'll see that du bar by dt and dv bar by dt these both terms cancel and you simply get what is your right hand side u bar dot d2 v bar by dt square minus there's a minus sign here minus d2 u bar by dt square dot v bar which is our expected right hand side so the problems related to differentiable functions are now completed here